Hello YouTube. In my last video, I showed these dual power supplies and what I was going to do with the LEDs. So, on the left over here, uh, this is an XHP160 from China, and this is a Cree XHP70.2. So, 16 LED elements versus 4 LED elements. And I have consistently said that the Cree LEDs outperform the Chinese LEDs and well we're going to see that in real life. So um, both of these LEDs are glued down to this heatsink with thermal glue and then they have identical reflectors on them um, so that you're going to see the same size spot up on the ceiling. So what I've tried to do here, uh, between the two little power supplies and all this, is try to make everything as equal as possible. No flashlights, no flashlight A versus flashlight B, and what they might possibly be doing, or reflectors, or different things like that. The only thing that's different here is literally the LED. And conveniently, both these things are 6 volts. So, the noise you're hearing is the fans, of which I have one under this heatsink, so this little LiPo pack is running that, so there's the wires going off to that. And then, of course, inside my meanwhile power supply, it's got a fan, too. So, <clears throat> pardon the noise. And then the beeping in the background is, well, an 18650 charger. So, ignore all that stuff. So, anyway, here we go. I'm going to turn this guy on. So, this, um, this power supply powers up the XHP160. And um, it's showing 6 volts right now. I'm going to let it warm up a second. And over here, this powers up the uh, XHP70.2 uh, from Cree. So the first thing I'm going to do is let's settle out here for a minute. Okay, they're both showing 6 volts, but this is showing 7.13 amps, and this is showing 3.24 amps. So the Cree LED is using less than half the amperage of the XHP160. Less than half. And keep in mind, it's 4 LED elements versus 16. So now what I'm going to do is point the camera up at the ceiling so that you can see the same thing uh, brightness wise. So oh, that is both spots and conveniently both reflectors are making pretty much the same spot. So we're going to turn off the 160. Now you're looking at just the yellow light, the 4300K light from the 70.2. Turn that back on again. You're seeing both. I'll turn off the 70.2. Now you're looking at just the light from the XHP160 which is probably like 5300K is my guess and then back on again you see the spots are slightly off center from each other but they're still pretty close together and you can see that let me turn that back on do the same thing with the 160 you can see that the spots are pretty darn close to the same brightness there's a little bit more wash out of the 160 and that's basically because you've got you know <laughs> a much bigger dome <clears throat> so it doesn't uh, re uh, culminate quite as well with this reflector as the uh, 70.2 does but you can see at the spot is equal brightness so how I'm doing that is quite simple this little yellow button down here you can see the LED you can see me hitting the button that's all I'm doing I'm just turning a little power supply on and off so anyway you're seeing Right here, 6 volts, 7.14 amps. And over here, 6 volts, 3.22 amps. Two LEDs, one with 16 elements in it, one with four. And both of them making the same amount of light. And yet, the Chinese LED requiring 7.16 amps to do it. And the Cree LED doing it with 3.22 amps. For the same amount of light, one-fourth as number of cores as the Chinese LED making the same amount of light on less than half the amperage. So that right there is already very, very, very compelling. Showing you that, yes, once again, Cree destroys China with their LEDs. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the XHP160. So now you're just looking at the yellow spot again. And now I'm going to adjust the voltage for the uh, 70.2 until I max out the power supply which is basically 15 amps. So give it a bump, you saw it get brighter, give it another bump, now I'm, I'm at the maximum 7.27 volts and 15.12 amps. Bump it back down again, 6.99 volts and 12.3 amps, back down to 6 volts 
and now we're basically at 3.5, 3.6 amps. So anyway, turn that back all the way to its maximum again, and turn that off. And I'm going to do the same thing for the XHP160. So there's its normal brightness at 6 volts. Now I'm going to adjust it up. So that is 6.61 volts, and I'm at 15 amps. That's all the more I can do. And I can adjust it back down. So there's 6 volts, and there is 6.6 .6 volts. So that's going from basically 7.6 amps to 15 amps right there. Do that again back and forth a couple times so you kind of get a good feel for how that looks. Okay, now I'm going to turn that off so it's back at 6 volts. Go back over to the XHP 72 Oops. Turn that down. <clears throat> there we go. So there's 6 volts again. The same thing. I've got two bumps of brightness out of that one. I can, I've got a lot more current capability. You know, I can make two voltage bumps. So there we go. Alright, so now I've got the uh, Cree LED turned all the way up to its maximum. And now I'm going to do the same thing for the XHP160. And turn that guy up. Okay, there we go. So now they're both running at about 15.1 amps side by side. And I'm going to turn off the 160. There we go. There's the Cree's light. There's the 160 back on top of it. Turn off the Cree LED. Turn it back on again. So, in my opinion, the Cree LED right now is making a slightly brighter spot. Oops, let me turn that back on again. Turn off the 160. I think the Cree LED is making a slightly brighter spot, but it has less wash than the uh, 160. The 160 has a bigger dome. So the, uh, the reflector is not going to culminate the light quite so tightly. But um, otherwise, I think the spots are either, either slightly more for the Cree LED or downright the same. They're super duper close. And um, looking down here, so and I'll show you the smoking uh, XHP160 in a second here. Um, so over here it says 6.53 volts and 15.1 amps and over here it shows 7.21 volts and 15.13 amps so I've maxed out the power supplies so I thought this was kind of interesting, I've watched this happen a couple different times now so you can see the XHP1 or the uh, XHP 70.2 right here it's not smoking that's all coming off of the uh, XHP160 Every time I have overwatered it like this, and I'm not overwatering it very much, it sits there and just smokes. Um, clearly, it is cooking its dome to death. <laughs> and the uh, Cree LED, well, it's not, and it can take a hell of a lot more than that. In fact, the uh, smoke is wafting over here, so it looks like it's coming out of the Cree LED, but it's not. Put a slight breeze on it. Keep it off of there. But all of that smoke is coming out of the XHP160. Anyway, once again, uh, Cree is blowing the socks off of China. Um, I wish that these two little power supplies could deliver the amp so that I could burn out the XHP160. Because that was really the plan. And I know that it's going to take a little bit more voltage to do that. Yeah, the thing is, <coughs> smoking a lot. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't run it up here. I don't know. China, you might not be uh, doing the right thing here. Well, <clears throat> yeah, look. No, no smoke coming off the Cree LED, just off of the 160. The thing is cooking itself to death. Yeah. <clears throat> Once again, Cree destroys China LEDs. Turn those bad boys off before that thing smokes itself to death. Yeah, my house stinks now. <laughs>